how to tech, and we're going to do a quick disassembly of the Samsung Galaxy S7 using a few tools, Phillips screwdriver, ice decimal tool, a couple of spudgers, tweezers, playing cards, and guitar picks, and a heat gun. Go ahead and remove your SIM card slot. Heat up the back of your device. You want it to be nice and toasty, really, really warm, to the point where you don't want to touch it anymore. That'll help you not break the glass when you dip your ice decimal tool in just a little tiny bit down here at the bottom to help us get the back to start the lift off. And then we can use a non-metal tool like a playing card to help us not pill the coloring off the back of the device. That way your phone will still be black when it's done and you don't have to go with one of those clear backs like we've seen in the past on Reddit and other places. So just using the playing card going back and forth to get us started. Now as you get towards the edges and you start to round the curve, you want to make sure you just use the tip of the card. That way you'll avoid damaging or cracking the rear glass on the device itself. Now once it gets a little bit slower going, go ahead and use your heat gun, heat it back up, get the adhesive nice and warm again. It'll take less time the second time to heat it up, and then work your way down the side here as well. You want to do that to both sides of the device in the same manner. And I always save the top for the last bit of the removal. You're going to go ahead and slide your card around the same method, just using the tip around the sides. And then right here, there's a bit more adhesive, so you're going to want to heat this area up just a little bit hotter towards the camera area. That'll allow you to slide your playing card just right underneath, and then your back glass will just go ahead and pop right off. Ta-da! All right, we're going to go ahead and remove the 12 screws off the back of the phone, I'll highlight it in yellow. Pull up our little gold flap here. Go ahead and remove the plastic backing off the phone. This portion is the loudspeaker. The portion above is the wireless charge mat. You want to be careful because these do make connection with the logic board. And we want to make sure that they'll still make connection so you can still use them. Also, there are antennas on the back of these that help gain cell reception, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, so make sure that you do not damage the logic board connections underneath. You can see to replace your charge mat, there's a ribbon cable that wraps around. To replace your loudspeaker, you would need to gain a new piece of plastic housing to put that back in. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the antenna connectors, gray and red. We'll do the same thing with our home button, and then work our way around the phone, popping up all of our connections for power, the display, also removing the connection for the battery, volume button, proximity sensor and earpiece speaker, front facing camera, you can go ahead and remove the front facing camera, With all of the connections undone, we can go ahead and start to peel up the logic board. Just go ahead and wiggle it back and forth, and then you'll need to disconnect this portion down here at the bottom, connecting the charge port to the actual board itself. Once that's undone, the logic board will go ahead and pop right out for you. You may need to wiggle it back and forth, just pulling back some of the connections onto the logic board itself. You can also replace the rear-facing camera on the phone. It uses the same connections as the display. You just need to pop it up, push the camera out, insert your new camera, and then reattach it. With that done, we can go ahead and take out our headphone jack, removing the small Phillips screw that's holding it in place. Pulling up on the back portion will assist you in getting it out faster. You'll need to snap up the ribbon cable connection as well. There's a little prong right on the bottom of it that looks like a grounding prong. You'll need to make sure that that's inserted correctly when you reassemble your phone. Next is to remove the battery. I'm gonna use a nice long flat tool like the back of the iSesimo tool to help us get started. You can also use something a little bit larger, like a maybe a plastic putty knife. A gift card comes in handy when you're trying to remove these. So once you get it started, you can fit the gift card in there. You're just gonna use this to help lever up the battery. Sliding it back and forth, there's adhesive around the battery in a rectangle. Once you get it to start to pry up, You've made good progress on one side. You can go ahead and pull the phone upwards and then just pull it backwards with your fingers and the battery will start to slide out. The important thing to remember here is to go slow with these. The adhesive will pull off if you're going slow. You don't want to rip it off. There's also an open rectangle underneath the battery which attaches directly to the display in front. 
so make sure you do not damage the display when removing this. Go ahead and pull out the antenna connectors further at this point, removing them from the bottom charge board. With that done, we can go ahead and remove our volume up and down if need be. If you need to replace these, they're pretty easy to pull out. Just use a tweezer and pull up on the interior portion of the metal bracket. Same thing with the power button. It'll pull right out once you have it removed. The brackets next to it will also pull out. You need to replace your proximity sensor. It's just adhered down with a small piece of adhesive, pulling it backwards. There's also a water sensor here as well on top of the proximity sensor cable. With that removed, we can go ahead and pull up the earpiece speaker. Now you want to be careful with this. There is adhesive holding it down. We'd like to reuse this adhesive and make sure you, you do not rip it. So just take your time and pull that out slowly. Wiggling it back and forth slightly can help loosen up just a little bit so you can get your hands on it to pull it out. Using our tweezers, we're just going to pull back the adhesive to make sure it does not rip. We can go ahead and remove that out of the device. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our display. We want to get this nice and warm also. We're going to remove the adhesive all the way around the exterior portion of the device, around the black out exterior layer, just using a small plastic tool to help pry from the camera hole to get us started, then using our playing card and moving it back and forth along the display. We're basically going to remove, push this card down through the adhesive down to the display itself without actually touching the display. That is an important portion. We're going to heat up the side of the phone here as well. This phone is using Loca glue to adhere the screens together. So getting it hot enough to remove the adhesive without pulling that up is a little bit tricky. Right here in the corner, I do actually accidentally peel up a little bit of the Loca. And that is because my card taps the edge of the AMOLED. It's not the end of the world. You can use heat to pull that back together after your display is removed. We're just going to use the tiniest bit of the tip and go down the side of the display, making sure that we only get the bezel of the display, working it back and forth. And the important part of doing this before you remove your display so you do not break it, we'll go ahead and do it on the opposite side. We removed all the adhesive off the top of the display, gone under over the earpiece speaker grill, right up top the AMOLED. The AMOLED is adhered into the mid-frame of the phone. And that'll be our next step to remove that. We're doing the same thing on the opposite side, just taking your card and using just the smallest bit of the tip to go down the bezel of the phone here as well. And the important point of doing this is to make sure that we can remove all the adhesive around the outside of the display. So when we move the adhesive from underneath the AMOLED, we can go ahead and pull it open without cracking the AMOLED itself. It is extremely fragile and it's, this is a very hard process to do. So using our playing card, we want to make sure all the adhesive right up to the edge of the AMOLED has been removed. So that means going over the earpiece speaker grill here to make sure that we have this all moved away. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and heat up the back of the phone on the narrowest side first. We get it nice and warm to the touch, dip our playing card in and get that started. It would be smart to wear gloves. I am not that smart. Make sure you wear gloves. Pushing the playing card in, reheating if necessary. You'll feel the card actually kind of click into place. That means you've gone past the adhesive holding the display down. Do the same thing up here at the top corner. Using a small piece of playing card, wiggling it back and forth and up. Right above the battery, there is a logic board on the display. Be careful of that. Now with that done, we can go ahead and dip our card all the way through the bezel, which we've removed the adhesive on, and the back where we just also removed the adhesive and work all across the wider portion of the phone. Using our playing card, being very careful of the ribbon cable on the back of the display. We're going to work our cards down just to right below the battery area. That is where the adhesive on the display will stop. We're going to do this on both sides, making sure that we've heated the device up. We're going to heat up the buttons at the bottom, and we're going to open the phone like a book. We're going to get it nice and warm. Then we're going to use our playing card to help peel the buttons off of the glass. They are adhered to the glass. And if your glass is hot enough, they will peel right off with a playing card. Same thing with the home button. And then we can just go ahead and pull the display away. There you've removed your working display from your phone. Next step is to remove the 
two screws holding the charge port in place. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and pry up the buttons underneath the display that are capacitive buttons. We're going to go ahead and pull those through the phone. Pull the charge ribbon cable off. It's got a small amount of adhesive behind it. Then we can work on the home button, peeling the home button up and removing it after we remove the black adhesive over the top of it. And there you have it. Every single portion of this Samsung Galaxy S7 has been removed and ready for a new display, new charge port, new home button, whatever you'd like to do. Here is the demonstration of it being a working display. As always, thanks for watching. You want the long, unedited version? It's down in the description. Peace.